What's up guys? Welcome to Rad Reviews, where I review whatever I feel like. It feels good to be back. It's been quite some time since I've been behind the camera, but yeah, I am so excited to tell you guys about the shoes I have here today that I think represent the future for shoelaces. I've been on the hunt recently for running shoes. Not much of a runner myself, but I do walk all the time, and I consider running shoes to be very comfortable for walking. So I poked around on the internet thinking that there has to be something better by now than shoelaces. Shoelaces have been around for so long, and so many other things have made Made some huge technological leaps and I just feel like it's about time something has happened for shoes. Honestly, it's a huge upgrade from shoelaces. Not only does it do everything a shoelace does, it does a lot more. So yeah, how about we bring these shoes up onto the table? There's this one. I'm not bringing these up in any particular order. I will arrange them and organize them later. Okay. All right, so here they are, six shoes on the table. Obviously, I'm just using the left pair because I don't have that much room on this table. But yeah, I'll just grab this one and show you guys what the bow system actually looks like. Here's one of the shoes, and I really like this one. I'll be talking about it more. You literally just, uh, so these are the shoelaces, technically, and you just pull this thing up to loosen them, right? You can see them opening up and stuff. When you get your foot in there, you just snap this thing down, this little dial here, and you turn it and that tightens these laces, and they tighten really tightly if you want them to, and they stay put. They do not come undone, there's no tying, there's no tangling, none of the uh, hassle that comes with your standard shoelaces, and really, it's so nice to have an option out there that replaces shoelaces in a way that doesn't suck. I'm just thinking back to like shoes that have Velcro straps, which is so elementary, obviously, but there's times where you kind of wish that you had something that easy. And of course, there's shoes that are more like slippers, but these give you all the advantages of a shoelace without the hassle of a shoelace, so it's really like no compromise. But here's the thing, like with all shoes, it's kind of a subjective thing. Not all shoes are gonna work for you, and some shoes just straight up suck. So I decided to get six pairs of shoes because I didn't know what else to do. Boa system shoes are pretty hard to come by, actually. They're not very talked about or known, so there aren't very many running shoes or shoes out there, period, that have the BOA system on there. Typically they're really specialized shoes or there just aren't very many of them, and that's the case for running shoes. Like, half of these shoes are actually trail running shoes. Let me rearrange these, actually. These three on the right are all trail running shoes, and these three on the left are all just standard running shoes. When I decided to check out the trail running shoes because I figured I could hike in them as well as walk in them, it would be fine. Maybe they'd be a little less breathable or whatever, but uh, I figured I'd give them a shot. It'd give you more perspective on this whole boa thing too. So yeah, I suppose without further ado, let's get some close-ups of these shoes, and I will tell you what it's all about. All right, so I've decided that we're gonna talk about these three shoes since these are the trail running shoes. These two here are both made by Under Armour and this is kind of the little brother to this one. This shoe, move this one out of the way for a second. Um, this shoe looks ridiculous. This looks like something you would walk on the moon with or something, I don't know. Um, as far as like a fashion design thing goes, this thing is making some statements. And this is kind of like the little brother to this one. This, this shoe is called the Under Armour Fat Tire the Fat Tire 2, it's the second in the Fat Tire series, which <laughs> kind of cracks me up. And uh, this is the Mid Tire. And it's inspired, the design is inspired by Fat Tire bikes. The tires that go on those Fat Tire bikes uh, look fat and ridiculous like this, and I guess they took that idea and put it on a shoe, and it's even in partnership with Michelin, which makes tires if you didn't know. So yeah, it really lives up to its name. I'm actually not a huge fan of this shoe because it's really wobbly. There's a ridiculous amount of cushion, so it's really comfortable, but it kind of has this weird bulge under the arch of your foot, and it, in a way it feels like you have giant pillows duct taped to your feet when you're walking around, which is kind of comfortable. But as far as a trail running shoe goes, I, I kind of worry about the stability, but I have no doubts that it would be very comfortable and that it would have a lot of grip, and it looks like the material would shed water pretty well. My main complaints about this shoe were just that the sock liner is kind of tight around the ankle, and it's this whole boa dial thing is actually kind of noticeable. The pressure is noticeable, and it's a little uncomfortable, and the lacing system here, this material for the laces, is like this plastic-coated steel cable, and it's really squeaky. I, I know that it would be really durable and stuff, but it's a very squeaky build and everything I've just said about this shoe about the sock liner and the boa thing the dial here being noticeable as well as the squeaky steel laces uh, all that stuff is true for this shoe as well so it's also not very comfortable but it is 
less ridiculous looking and it's a more stable shoe. It doesn't wobble. See, if I do that, that's all that happens, whereas this one will rock for a while. This shoe is very, very wobbly. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> And from what I see online, those seem to be some pretty typical complaints too. And like I said, I haven't really tested these shoes, um, but these are some initial impressions that are enough to make me pretty much decide that I'm not going to use these. But it's cool to know that they're out there. However, I'm very glad that I gave some other shoes a shot. It's important when you're trying some groundbreaking and new stuff that you get a good impression. So I figured I had to check these guys out. Here is the Asics Gel Fuji Rado, a much more reasonable shoe in my opinion. It looks like it and it feels like it and it fits like it. When I put my foot in here, I have a very secure fit. It doesn't slip around at all. There's no ridiculous sock liner constricting my ankles. Um, and I actually don't notice the boa dial at all. And the material feels more breathable, but still very capable of keeping water out of your shoe. And this lacing material, it's made of a tougher cloth material, I think, as opposed to a plastic coated steel cable which results in a more comfortable lacing system and definitely no squeaks. So if I had to choose a trail running shoe between those three, I would choose these. These are an easy winner in my opinion. But again, haven't really really pushed the limits of these shoes but first impressions, all good. And it does come in an all black version too if you're not into this whole Halloween theme. Alright, let's get those running shoes on the table. And number three. So these two shoes are both made by New Balance and they're actually the same shoe pretty much. They're just uh, different color schemes of the same shoe. However, the materials are a little bit different so I'll get into that and I'm glad that I tried both. Anyway, these are the New Balance Fuel Core Sonics and that is the Asics Dynamis. And just to keep it simple, I'll take this one out of the equation. And just to keep it simple, I'm going to take this one out of the equation here, and we're just going to talk about these two shoes for now. The main differences between these two shoes, they're very similar in a lot of ways, is really that the lacing system on the New Balance uh, Fuel Core Sonic, it doesn't really have the laces over the top of the foot at all. It actually just it bypasses all of that by having the laces on the side. And I actually think that's really clever. It makes this whole BOA system design super simplified. Instead of the laces tightening over the top of your foot, it pulls a strap that tightens over the top of your foot. So I just think that's a really clever idea and it makes it so that there's barely any lacing system on this shoe at all. It's a really subtle look. I just like it, it's clever. And it's very comfortable for that reason actually. This is the Asics Dynamis. It has a pretty standard lacing pattern and setup here. As you can see, uh, it's not too unfamiliar looking in any way. Nice mesh material is really breathable, maybe a little more breathable than this uh, Fuel Core Sonic here. And it's really comfortable. The fit feels very secure. I don't have anything bad to say about this shoe. It has a lot of cushion. It's breathable, it's light, and it has the Bose system on it. I think that's awesome. I really, I feel like I can't really ask much more. If I can have something that's better than shoelaces without any terrible compromise, um, sign me up. I'm pretty much sold. Because some of these examples here, like those Under Armors, they're just, they're just not comfortable. You can feel that dial. But on these examples here, you really can't. And that's why I would recommend these two shoes. If you're looking for some running or walking shoes and you want to get to know the Bose system, I highly recommend these two, the Fuel Core Sonic and the Asics Dynamis. However, if my personal preference is about to get involved, I pretty much, I think I'm gonna go with these shoes over these ones just because I'm not a huge fan of the white sole. I feel like it gets a little bit dirty, a little bit faster, and outside of that, right there, I'm pretty torn between these two shoes. I think this one has a little bit more cushioning than this one, um, but this shoe feels a little bit more flexible and maybe that means it's not quite as supportive, but I'm not really sure if that's what I'm looking for in this kind of shoe anyway. I've got some decisions to make and stuff, but between these three, it's down to these two. And the reason that it's down to these is because this shoe, while it looks pretty cool, I like the, I like the little subtle cheetah or leopard print, I guess you would call that. Um, was it cheetah or leopard print? I always forget. Anyway, I dig it. But the material feels a little bit cheaper. This mesh right here on the front of the shoe, it feels like kind of a thin cloth material. It's a little bit rough, it's a little bit coarse, and you don't notice that on the inside of the shoe or anything, but when you're walking around with it, you kind of feel it push on your feet in a kind of way that the other material doesn't. This feels like a legging-like material, very spandexy, yet it's still pretty breathable. And that's my main reason for choosing this one over this one. And funny enough, I don't know if you guys noticed, and this didn't really play much part in my decision at all, but this is actually a Spider-Man themed shoe. 
You can see the logo on the back here and actually in the, in the insole here, if you can see that on the camera, it says Marvel. And they don't tell you that on the website that it's themed after Spider-Man, they just say it's themed after one of your favorite superheroes. Um, but it's all black, so it's kind of making me think that it's themed after Venom. Venom, I don't know. I don't really keep up with the comic stuff too well, but I will say that I really like this shoe. I think it looks great, and I'm totally down to rock it. So yeah, it's really just down to these two shoes for me. I think these are the most comfortable and reasonable options, but if you're looking for a trail running shoe, highly recommend the Asics Gel Fuji Rado. And you're welcome to try the Under Armour shoes that I showed you earlier, but I think my complaints will be your complaints as well. They're just not a very comfortable shoe. You feel that dial on your foot, and a lot of people complain about that. And the sock liner and the squeaking get kind of annoying, so... I don't know. I can't really recommend those shoes, but they're interesting. I'll say that. Anyway, I wanted to make this video because I'm so excited. I'm honestly so excited to know that there are options out there that replace shoelaces and do it so well. Well enough to put them on running shoes, right? And this whole company, BOA, they started in 2001. They got their foot in the door, pun intended, with snowboarding boots. And from there, they worked their way up to golf shoes, hiking shoes and boots, um, medical devices and motorcycle gloves. And I don't know what else, I think hydration packs. And there's a lot of industries that trust them and have trusted them for 16 years or so to put on their products and make their products more interesting and awesome and better. And these two shoes are the best examples in my opinion and in my experience of that, of what the Boa system can offer you for a running shoe. So please give these a try. By the way, these shoes here are special editions, I think. Um, you have to go to newbalance.com to get them. Right now, you're just not gonna find this system on most shoes in most stores, but if you happen to, definitely try them. Fleet Feet carries the Fuel Core Sonic by New Balance and the Asics Dynamis in some of their stores. Not all of them. I tried my local ones and only one of them did out of five. So I don't know what the situation is where you are, but Fleet Feet might be a place to check them out with Without having to deal with any of the shipping and whatnot and yeah that's it the future is here guys and shoelaces have finally met their match and while not all of the shoe companies did a good job of utilizing this technology there are shoe companies that have and that's why I wanted to tell you about it is because I want you guys to give this technology a fair chance because if you do I think you'll love it anyway I'm gonna get these shoes out of the way and I would just like so thank you for watching Ride Reviews, where I review whatever I feel like, and I will be back shortly with another review on something. I don't know what it'll be, because I just review whatever I feel like, and I don't really plan them too far ahead of time, but you know what to do if you liked this video. I will be back soon, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.